Most people in life have a life worth living and create a life worth retiring to. At least that's the game plan. If they have been schooled appropriately by their parents about how life in the real world works. I'm always amazed at how many parents do a horrible job being a parent. And what I mean is they're lazy. They take a baby home. They get the expenditures of that, which is pretty costly, actually, because they laid their loins together with someone else, however they chose to do that, in whatever type of couple they chose to do that in, however they chose to adopt that, or create that, or procreate that. And openly, then, they're too fucking lazy to pick up a book from the child-rearing industry and read about it, of what are the ages and stages and appropriateness of certain type of education and training of a child to make them a moral person in society and to make them healthy, wealthy, and wise as they age. Now, that little clip comes from, I think, a childhood poem that my mother used to read to us, and we used to love reading Beastly Boys and Ghastly Girls, which is full of all that. But the truth is, if your parents didn't do that for you, and you come out of an impoverished-minded community, or a retail-minded community, apologies to the industry, but it's truthful, and a non-goal-oriented community, a non-planning life community, then I'm encouraging you as an adult to make a choice that you can learn just about anything if you put time in your free time to it. That if you manage your time, if you choose to not be online, if you choose to be not in front of what my mother used to call the idiot box, which was a television, and that's not always truthful, depending on what you are learning from. And I have a late spouse that used to watch the How Things Were Made, How Things Work channel, and I loved her for that. She really wanted to grow her mind and grow her intelligence, and she taught me a lot. But what I'm saying to you is that if you're like me, and if you want a good life, and if you want to pursue happiness and wealth in order to have a retirement so you don't have to work until your motherfucker 100 years old, then you will do your best to get yourself aligned with people going places, trying to become something, and trying to earn a better living. You will put yourself in front of the library. You will pick books on the real world of business and sales because everybody's selling something. Whether you work in a company as an accountant, whether you serve in a community as a teacher, whether you participate in small business groups like me, or whether you're a networker like the person that I love the most. You have to know how to talk about yourself. You have to know how to talk about yourself efficiently. And you cannot waste people's time with your personal conditions. No offense, but you didn't earn that right to dump that shit on them. There is a professional etiquette standard in our nation, and yet, all across the world, with all the world's people, there are different standards, different topics, that are appropriate and polite and professional in their nation. There are at least three or four marvelous books called, <clears throat> uh, give me a minute, uh, sorry, Kiss, Bow, and Shake Hands by a pretty good author who's got it pretty correct, at least enough that you won't screw yourself and, ru and ru ruin yourself in front of people from other lands. We have a lot of people who come to America and don't give up their national status we have a lot of people that come from other nations that don't give up their culture at best. There are pros and cons of that. But what I'm saying to you is that America is a nation about the red, white, and blue. The red stands for the blood and sweat, basically the blood for sure, that our forefathers shed for us. The blue stands for the tears of people who cried over those who died for us, both here and abroad. And the white is about the purity of heart, the purity and love of the Lord. At least that's how I actualize and how I intellectualize and how I emotionalize and how I compassionize what it means to be American today.